sorry, I was just getting into some rock and roll. Now, to me, studying rocks always seemed a wee bit boring, but then I became a teacher and realised they're actually amazing. The study of rocks is known as geology, and this is an activity that you can do inside or you can do it outside. First thing you need to do is go and get yourself a selection of stones or rocks. So I've managed to find a collection of six different rocks. Now we're going to take these stones and investigate how they interact with water. See, rocks can be one of three things, usually. They can be porous, that means they'll soak up water a little bit like a sponge. They can be permeable, that means water runs through lots of little holes inside the rock. Or they can be impermeable, which means they're a bit like an umbrella and water kind of runs off them and bounces off them. So to investigate whether our rock is porous, permeable or impermeable, we just need some toilet roll that we're all really good at doing keepy uppies with, eh? Uh, some water and a pipette would be great, eh? But we don't have that, so I'd suggest a cotton bud, but you could just use tissue and dampen it. So we're gonna put our stone on our tissue. We're gonna take our cotton bud or bit of water and we're gonna slowly drip it on top of the rock and see what happens. You have to look really closely. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but actually there's water just resting on the top of my rock. It's not going anywhere. It's not going through it. It's not soaking up like a sponge. So it's not porous. It's not permeable. It must be impermeable. And so I could create like a wee area for them and I could place that stone there to say it's impermeable. Then I can repeat the process for the rest of my rocks. And once you've investigated, a really good question to ask is, what would humans use these rocks for? What would be good for a house? What would you use down at a dock site? And just remember to put your stones back where you got them from.